Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for March 16th until 23rd. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Working things out with someone that you're with right now or working out in your marriage. There's a part of you who wants to run away, turn away, and leave everything behind. But then you will stop and think that, okay, hold on. We already have a foundation. We've been through a lot of stuff in the past. And now why am I just going to turn around and leave everything behind? Okay. The thing here is... You're being divided and you're, you know, I feel like there are a lot of distractions around you right now, especially that you are trying to live um, your dreams or your ambitions. And you're also trying to, you know, to earn some of other people's praises as well. But, you know, don't ever forget that person who's been there with you during those times that you are, that you have nothing and that you, you know, you're nobody. Okay. So, well, a relationship is not like, um, you know, um, well, you know, something that you need to be grateful for, for some, for somebody, but, um, for whatever they're going to do. But those people who's never been there for you. And right now that is actually the people that you're also trying to please. Okay, so you better think long and hard about your own decisions. Otherwise, you might just find yourself isolated and alone. Okay. Now, you want to try and work things out with someone that you're with or with your, you know, with your marriage or with your spouse. And you want to bring, um, you want to bring the old happiness, the harmony that you used to have. But then somewhere, I mean, somewhere deep inside of you, you feel like it's already hollow. Something inside of you feels like, you know, that that happiness is already voided. It's no longer there. And it's been replaced by a lot of aggression. Now... A water sign will be reaching out to you for money. And um, I feel like if this is a loan that you're trying to get or this is a loan that you're trying to opt out. And you're starting to think, what if I move away? What if I live alone? Or what if I, you know, live in another place or in a separate house? You know, will things get better? And you want to get closer to your family, especially if there's an air sign involved or an air sign influence. Okay? Away from the earth sign that you're currently with. And... You feel like things might, you know, might come, uh, well, might come hanging and might come a little bit handy later on to settle down your differences, your problems, your woes, your, your you know, your the, the gaps that you're currently having right now. And I feel like you're just looking for some attention. You want to get back at this person because you feel like they are depriving you, ignoring you, neglecting you. But ask yourself, what are the things that you have contributed so far in a relationship? Why do you think this person is acting this way? If you feel like you're not doing anything, right? It's time for you to reflect on your own action and pause for a little while. Why things did really turn, you know, turn around this way? Um... Is it, re is it really your fault? Is it their fault? You know? And I feel like there are also some other harsh influences. This is another one that's been like eating up your relationship. You know, outside influences in your relationship or in your own personal life is the number one termite, okay? That will eat up your potential to be happy, to grow, and to live together in a long period of time. And if before you were both united or you're both watching each other's backs, now you are stabbing each other's backs, okay? 
and this is exactly the voided feeling that you're feeling or you know questioning yourself why is it that it's not there anymore the thing here is ask yourself why did you let the situation pan out this way whereas before you could still save it you could still you know do something about it but you let other people get in to your own personal life okay because of other people's approval you've always been looking for the approval okay or for um other people's yeah, roughly praises you know to to your situation into your life into your choices but you're already stepping and affecting the one who really you know count the most or who really who's always been there for you and the result of that is betrayal and someone will be acting in mischief and then running away from it or both of you will be doing this to each other so see there is a very good um foundation that the two of you already have and that the two of you you know used to celebrate but then one of you has been acting very immature and irresponsible and gets easily influenced by other people so this is the reason why your relationship is falling apart it is not because of your partner it is because of outside people that's been affecting your relationship okay one of you is also feeling so tired and drained and doesn't really care about the other person anymore and both of you can feel you know that tension that space that gap that coldness that freezing coldness okay between the two of you and the solution is already with you or it should come from you not from your partner since that you are the one who opened up the doors okay uh, to these people who's been like dipping their fingers into your business into your personal life especially if there's a children involved so don't just put the blame on your partner especially if you're with another earth sign or an air sign because i feel like the heartbreak comes more from your partner and not from you okay could be that they, right now there's no action or they are you know they're acting passive or they're in th there's like a lot of inactions they're not even talking they're not they, they're treating you so cold they're they're treating you so indifferent and you always think that they are cheating on you why they're th why they're acting like this but the thing here is i don't feel like they're cheating on you but they're emotionally drained tired exhausted and they're already feeling so uh numb on the inside okay or uh, it's like they can't feel anything anymore because they don't know what to say they've tried to fix up their relationship in the past but you are not really willing to listen you don't want to listen in fact because you are already listening to other people whom you feel knows much better than your relationship and whom you feel knows much better than the two of you or you all together okay so so for more solutions try to look deeper into your emotions what is it that you know that you really want from this because i feel like there's still a chance for this relationship to pull up but the solution should come from you okay there are three things three people three resources or whatever it is or influences that you need to sacrifice in order for you to concentrate in your own life you know, a relationship should only be meant for two people who is in love. And your life is not like a public market. Okay? So, try to settle this between the two of you. Try to have an open communication. Try to have an open mind. And try not to listen to all those miserable people who's been giving you a lot of wrong advices. Because they are just jealous of whatever you have right now. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this week, Taurus. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.